I, I, I'm not sitting here telling you that when I came in a relationship with Christ, I was no longer tempted uh, in certain areas anymore. Right. I was still tempted. I, I still may have been tempted in those areas. However, now I have the power of Christ living and dwelling on the inside of me uh, that gives me the capacity or the strength uh, to resist the enemy. Right. Welcome to Mission Driven. I'm Derek. And I'm Brother A. Mission Driven is here for us to provide you with information and resources to help you to identify those around you that may be struggling with life debilitating addictions. We work with addicts every day. And Brother A, we have been talking, always talking about relapse prevention because that is just such a very important topic. And we've been talking about people, places, and things. And you have a way that you want to tie this into a certain scripture today. And so why don't we go into that? Correct. As as we've been discussing uh, relapse prevention, I think uh, more and more I'm realizing how uh, people, places, and things play into uh, success or failure in right. recovery. And so it's important to, 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 to recognize uh, how important those three things is. The scripture, uh, in, my, in my interpretation of this particular verse, is is also in a sense communicating uh the same thing in regards to uh, people places and things and how uh important they are in terms of of our success in life our success in life not just in recovery but uh most important when it comes to relapse prevention okay Um, so the verse is in second corinthians 5 17 and second corinthians 5 17 this verse we kind of look at in adult and teen challenge as our mantra okay uh because it speaks to 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 uh who we are and what uh, god what the holy spirit desires to do in our lives Uh, but it reads like this it says therefore if anyone is in christ he is a new creation old things have passed away behold all things have become new and, you know, the, the interesting aspect of this verse, it begins by saying, therefore, if anyone is in Christ. Right. Which implies that you can be out of Christ. Right. Correct. Correct. Uh, it says if you are in Christ, uh, irregardless of your struggles, your challenges you're having. Right. If you're in Christ, it says you are a new you are a new creature creation. OK. In other words, if you have surrendered your life to God, if you've surrendered your heart and life to Jesus Christ, then at that moment, uh, you are considered a new creation because now Christ has come to live and dwell in your heart and life. Right. Amen. Now, now uh, uh, you are in that moment a new creation, but you also are, according to this verse, becoming. Right. Right. Uh, it's always so, a work. Yes, it's a, it's also a work in progress. You're also in a process of transformation, if you will. Um, uh, even though the, uh, you were changed when you gave your heart and life to Christ, you're being changed right. as well. Um, so how does people, places, and things play into that? Well, it says old things have passed away. Okay. So if I, if I am desiring to live this new life in Christ, uh, old things have passed away in terms of the person I used to be, the person I chose to be, how I chose to live, the people I chose to associate with, the things I chose to do, the places I chose to go. Right. N- now have instantly passed away and are passing away. Right. Am I making sense there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like as Christ changes you, the past passes away. So as as you spend more time with Christ, as you spend more time in your word, as you do that, do those things, Mm -hmm. you are becoming a new creation, like you're saying, because it's once we go back, we go back to this renewing of the mind. Right. And when you start being in the word and being with Christ so much more, you don't want to go and... uh, be with those people, places, and things that ha- cause you to go down the path that you did in the past. Well, 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 you you may want to go because even though even though you have come into relationship with Christ 
and your life has been changed because of that relationship with him. Uh, you're still in the world. You're just not of the world. Right. And so the temptations of the world, you are still subject to those temptations. And you open the door to a lot of uh, activities, if you will, okay. explicit activities or illicit activities, if you will, uh, in your life that it's not realistic to think, be, you know, because I went to the altar and prayed and gave my heart and life to Christ that now I'm no longer subject to those things. Okay, right. Now now Jesus has come into my heart. He lives in my heart and he's he's he, and because he's in my heart now, I have the desire to live according to his will and plan. But I'm I still uh, I'm still in this world and still have to deal with the flesh. Okay. Uh and so the flesh is still subject to the things uh that I was involved in before. Drugs and alcohol, the people, places and things. Right. Uh, and so now it's it's me having to make in a conscious, conscious and intentional decision. To allow those old things to pass away. And okay. all things to become new. Right. So so it's still that process that's taking place, even though it's instant because right. I've come in. He's already done it. Right. But I have. To do the work, and this might be somewhat, this may sound somewhat contradictory to some, you know, uh, uh, but 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 it's the spiritual mind that understands what I'm what I'm talking about. You got to put on spiritual ears to really connect with what I'm talking about. The natural mind cannot understand this. The natural mind, it, it to the natural mind, it doesn't make sense. Either it's passed away or it hasn't passed away. Right. Um, but the process of of transformation. Uh, it, it is not simply uh, instantaneous. Okay. It's right. a work as well. Right. Um, this, there's, there's no magic moment when you come to Christ. No. You know, it, it, he didn't pull out a magic wand and touch you on your, your, your head and, and say you're delivered from uh, people, places, and things of the past. Right. That's not how it works. I mean, we've, all, we've heard stories of where people have instantly been freed of their addictions through Christ. But that's not the normal thing cuz it's always a, a work at it. You well, have to... I, well, I I believe every person is instantly free. Okay. But they're not free instantly. Okay, explain that. It's it, going back to the same uh context in which I was talking about in this verse. Okay. Uh it, when we come into relationship with Christ, uh because he now lives and dwells in our heart, he comes in and we become new cre creations. We are we become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That's why the scripture is consistent. It says here in Christ Jesus. Right. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new cre cre creation. So, so I think I think I think the Lord was wanting us to identify with this for a reason, because he knows that we have certain proclivities. He knows that because we. Live, we still dwell and live in this flesh that we're subject to uh, uh, the things of this world, even though we have come into relationship with him. Right. That the enemy will try to use the, the, the things of this world to draw us back in. OK. Um, right. And, 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 you know, the interesting part about that when you, you know, I heard what you said just now when you said, uh, well, there's been some people that have been instantly changed. To, that 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 seems to imply that they no longer was tempted or desired to do that uh, that that activity again. Right. Well, they say they haven't been. Correct. They said they haven't been. Right. But 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 the truth of the matter. Who knows the truth of the matter? Right. I can tell you this. I, I, I'm not sitting here telling you that when I came in a relationship with Christ, I was no longer tempted uh, in certain areas anymore. Right. I was still tempted. I I still may have been tempted in those areas. However, now I have the power of Christ living and dwelling on the inside of me uh, that gives me the capacity or the strength uh, to resist the enemy. Right. Where I didn't have that and, and nor did I seemingly even desire to uh, resist it. I was, I was in sin. I, you know, I had no revelation of who Christ is or, or, or is or was. Uh, uh, and so I, it didn't, you know, I did what sinners do. I sinned. Right. 
But when I came into relationship with Jesus Christ, my eyes were open to my sin. I realized that uh, uh, th th those that was a lifestyle, those uh, that that I could no longer live. Right. And that my life is now in Christ. Right. And I have to live my life based on that. And so when you're talking about, uh, you know, instantaneous deliverance, it, it's it's making it, it, it seems to imply that there's some magical moment. Right. Right. And 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 there's no magical moment. Right. Um, the, 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 there is there is a moment where you come to life. Where you were dead, now you're alive. Right. Um, but there's no magical moment. Okay. You just realize the depth of your sin and the depth of your depravity. And now uh, you no longer want to live that way, but you're still subject to those things in the flesh. But now because the power of Christ now lives and abides in you, you have the strength now to resist the in enemy. But it's, it's still not easy. Right. And <clears throat> if you're struggling with any of these issues, I mean, from, and you want to become closer to Christ and you may be struggling with drugs, alcohol, pornography, whatever, reach out to us. You can find us on the web at atctn.org and you can click on that where it says get help now and somebody will get in contact with you within 24 hours when you fill out that form. Or you can always give us a call at 833-462-8286. And just uh, reach out to us if you are needing help or you know somebody that needs help with one of these issues and they need to become a new creature. Mm -hmm. So, and this, and it is a work in progress. It always is a work. We're always working. Even those saints that we see in the church that have been, we feel have been saved since they were an uh, infant still are working in the, on the process too. So it's not just the, like his brother A has said, not a magic pill, magic button to get onto it. It is a work in progress and they have to be willing to be correct to book to work. So, so what is a, when we say, when we, if we're looking at this verse, a new creation, what is a new creation? A new creation, if I'm a new creation in Christ, uh, that's that that means that now everything that I choose to do is new. Right. That means the people I choose to associate with now with now are new. Okay. Uh, that means the places that I'm choosing to go. Right. Are now new places. Right. I'm not going to the same people, places, and things right. any longer because I'm a new creation. Right. That's what the old creation did. Right. I'm a new creation. Right. Uh, and so as it relates to people, places, and things, uh, it, 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 it does not make sense that if I'm, if I'm wanting to be successful uh, in my recovery and, 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 and prevent relapse, that I choose to go around the same people in the same places doing the same things. Right. Because if you're doing that, you're just setting yourself up for failure again. And, and, and quite honestly, I'm not, I'm not trying to be different. Right. The new creation, you know, matter of fact, the, 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 uh, uh, there's a verse in, I believe, in the book of Philippians, I mean, I'm sorry, Ephesians, that talks about uh, that we put off the old, concerning the old man and put on the new man. Right. Who's created in in Christ Jesus, you know, to be uh, uh, holy and righteous, um, and so that in itself, when it says we put off and we put on, is implies that there's a process that's taking place. Right. That there's work that we are responsible for doing on our in our in, on ourselves. Right. That it's not simply that you know I pray a prayer, accepting Christ into my heart, and then at that moment my life is magically different. Right. No, th no, there's work yep. uh, to be a new creation. Right. And like anything worth having or worth doing, um, there has to be some work. Correct. I mean, if you if you are just given something, you have no really no appreciation Correct. for it. Correct. You don't you, value it. You don't mm -hmm. value it. But mm -hmm. if you work for something, if you work for your sobriety, Correct. if you work for these different things, then you're going to value it more and you're going to have more to lose if you relapse. Correct. Because you realize that you've done it. And you can't do it on your own. That's yeah. where you going being in Christ helps you to do that work. Does it make it easy? No, it's still going to be work. But you're going to have somebody there that you can rely on and help and be able to lift you up and yeah. be able to see 
and somebody to talk to. I mean, through his scripture, through his word, through through prayer, you'll be able to be in Christ and help you through the situations that you're going to. Yeah. So so if you think, you know, if you look at this verse, it, it seems that uh, the, 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 the Lord is is communicating to us when we come to him in uh, that that uh it's in the past tense in terms of what has 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 transpired there's a reason i believe that 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 uh that this the text is communicating to us in that way in the in the in the sense of past tense if any man being in in christ he is a new creation right and he says old things have passed away right uh then he goes further and says, "Behold, all things have become new." It, as it, it as as in, it's already it's already been done. It's already been done. Right. Um, interesting enough, whether we realize it not is it, it, or not, our future is God's past. Right. Whatever God uh, has purpose and plan for us is already done. He's just waiting for us to begin to walk in that. And, and and so that's why one that's one reason I believe that this text speaks in 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 in, in the future tense rather than the past in the future tense right uh, because it's 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 already done we just have to walk in it again that's where the putting off and putting on comes into play that's right. us walking in what what God had had already planned in purpose that, that's already done. Right. Um, and so if I'm putting it on, putting it off, uh, I'm, I'm making every effort to be that new creation, whether I feel like it or not. Right. Whether I look like it, whether I fall short at times or not. Right. I'm still making every effort to be the new creation that that God uh, has uh, has 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 uh, decided that I am. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, brother, a. Once again, we've gone through this, and really, I know it feels like we just start really getting into it, but yeah. then it comes to the end. But we all have busy schedules, yeah. and this that's one of the things that we've way we designed this podcast is so that you can fit it in here in just a few minutes because it can hopefully change your life. Amen. And if you know somebody or you need to be, become a new creation because somebody can't do it for you, you have to put in the work. So if you're listening to this podcast or watching it on YouTube or wherever you're watching this and you need to become a new creation, reach out to us. You can send us an email at missiondriven at atctn.org or you can go to our website at atctn.org and click on that Get Help Now button and somebody will re reach out to you within 24 hours of filling out the form or you can always give us a call at 833-462-8286. And just remember, you have to put in the work. And Brother A, I just really thank you for the word that you brought to us today with the scripture and just how that ties into becoming a new creation, how Amen. how that can help with people, places, and things. And become yeah. just really, that's just very powerful. And I just really appreciate uh, you telling us, giving us that, that information today. And uh I just want to thank you for that, and I want to thank you for watching or listening to this wherever you are. And remember, there's always hope from being free from your addictions. Mm -hmm.